hope it eat at your conscience what you did. It was through a phone call when Chiani Hopkins says she heard the concern in her sister's voice. She said, why he just rushed me? And she said, oh my God, this him. I'll call you back. But she never did. Forty-one-year-old Clarice Alexander was a mother, grandmother, daughter, and sister. Her family and friends described her as a kind and funny woman who was full of life, the epitome of the life of the party. Clarice had a close relationship with her family and was considered the glue that held everyone together. She absolutely loved being there for others and spending time with her seven children. Clarice headed out to take her son to school as she always did. Nothing could have ever prepared anyone for the chain of events that would soon take place. Around 8.30 a.m. on February 13th, police responded after Hanover Park residents reported hearing roughly six gunshots in a residential neighborhood near Arlington Drive and Heritage Court. Upon arrival, they would locate the body of an unresponsive woman. It was around 8.30 a.m. on Monday, February 13th, when Hanover Park residents reported hearing several gunshots in a residential neighborhood near Arlington Drive and Heritage Court. The victim was identified as 41-year-old Clarice Alexander, who was sadly found shot in an alley a few minutes from her home. She was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. Her body was located in a pathway that lies in between homes and a townhome complex, where children usually walk in the morning, as it connects the housing complex to a nearby school. As a precaution, nearby Keneyville schools were placed on lockdown. Clarice just finished walking her son to school when she was gunned down while heading back to her home. Nearby surveillance footage captured the attack, showing a suspect fleeing in an older model gray Chevy Malibu with heavy front end damage. Clarice's sister, who was on the phone prior to the shooting, says she overheard Clarice's concern during a phone call. That's when her sister claims Clarice saw a man she knew stalking her. Before disconnecting the call, Clarice informed her sister that she would call her back. Her sister never heard or saw Clarice again. Clarice's loved ones informed news outlets that they suspected her estranged husband to be the person responsible for her death, citing multiple harassment calls to the police, including one the night before her murder. Now her daughters are continuing to search for clues and more information, saying they don't want this case to grow cold. Three sisters desperately missing their mother, trying to figure out the future. It's stressful. Every time I think about it, I break down and cry. Clarice Taylor had a wicked sense of humor, loved doing things for others and spending time with her seven kids. I just think she was the best person, best friend anybody could have, best mom, the best sister, the best wife anybody could have. Monday morning, everything changed for her family. Clarice had walked her son to school and was making her way back home when someone shot her. Hanover Park police say she was found unresponsive in an alley just minutes from her home. She later died. She didn't deserve it. So far, police have made no arrests. Her daughters don't want this case to grow cold. They say Clarice was being harassed by someone very close to her. Information they say they've shared with police. She got the protection order. We changed the locks. He was sitting outside our home for hours out the day, stalking the house, banging on the doors. The glue to their family now gone. The daughters are worried about the future. They started this online fundraiser to try and help this hurt family survive. We don't have a backup plan. We never had a plan B. We never thought, oh, if mama died, what would we do? If I knew my mom wasn't going to come home, I would never let her go out the door. Hopkins says she was on the phone with her sister, Clarice Alexander, while Alexander was dropping off her son at school Monday morning. That's when Hopkins says her sister saw a man she knew apparently stalking her. Hopkins says she got off the phone with Alexander at 827. At around 832, police say they got a call that a woman was found dead between homes and a townhouse complex in the 1300 block of Court P in Hanover Park. Hopkins says that woman was her sister, a mother of seven, who was shot and killed. She had babies. She got. She just had a grandson. She got a one-year-old grandson. Like she was just starting to enjoy it. Like I don't know. Like I honestly can't put it in words. According to a neighbor who spoke to ABC7 off camera, he says his surveillance camera captured the attack and said the suspect got away in an older model gray Chevy Malibu with heavy front end damage. He said he turned over the video to Hanover Park Police, who told him not to release it publicly. 
this as Hopkins says her sister called police on the man multiple times in the past, even the night before her life was taken. She still had to call the police on him that night. He killed her that next morning. The shooter still remains at large as the family is left to cope with this sudden and tragic loss. As of right now, the suspect, 43-year-old William Taylor, is still on the run as he faces first-degree murder and is considered armed and dangerous. The investigation remains ongoing.